This is uh, chapter 20, uh, problem 11, uh, which was assigned for homework. So I want to go over this problem the best I can using a template um, for hypotheses tests. I'm going to try to touch on all of these um, uh, questions here, write a hypothesis, check the conditions, and so on. Okay, so what's going on here is this is the country country boy stuff, so rural area. So it turns out that it is tough sometimes to find water in certain places when you want to have a farm. So there's a standard method, okay, the standard the standard method has a success rate of finding water so of 30 percent okay so now there's this guy that uses this stick kind of like a uh, a fork they call it a fork it's a branch on a tree and he pulls on it and he walks around and when the fork points down that's where they drill okay and so they have like it looks like a sample size of 80 of his customers and they say that 27 uh, found water So the question is, is that is this uh, p value, p hat, the sample statistic, 27 divided by 80, so it's 0.3375. Okay, so is this um, evidence that um, it's his method is better than the standard method? So the thing we want to know is, can we rule out uh, uh, rule out uh, variation sampling variation as the cause? of the difference? Because if we can, if we can, then we could say that his method is better, All right? If we can't, then we say, hey, well, it's different, but that's what we expect that. Okay, so we what we want to do is we want to prove, let's try to prove that um, his method of dowsing is better. Okay, that's what we're going to try to do. So if that's the case, then we want to say somewhere in here, we want to say that. That's the thing in the alternative. So for the null hypotheses, we would say something like the percentage um, of successful um, wells drilled uh, by the dowser is 30 percent. So we would say P formally P equals 0 0.30. Okay and in here we would write the percentage of successful wells drilled by the dowser is greater than thirty percent so P is greater than thirty percent so this is what we want to tr prove here so what we want to do is assume the null hypotheses and build a model of what we'd expect for a sample. So I'm kind of jump through the conditions kind of pass uh, quickly, just just because I don't want this video to last forever. So plausible independence. Well, that's it's 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 probably independent. The wells that we use are independent if 
they are far enough apart. Now you need a, probably need a geologist to confirm that because it may have to be a long ways away. Um, so anyway, random sample, it's not random. And it's not done by a, a professional organization. Um, so we're going to have to assume uh, for now that the sample is, is representative of the Dowser's customers. Let's say is representative of all of the Dowser's customers. Okay, 10% condition, so we're going to have to assume uh, that um, he has more than 800 customers. That sounds like a lot to me. So I think we're kind of on thin ice here, but we want to do the test so we'll keep moving. Okay, now the success failure condition is the sample large enough. So the sample size was 80. So let's see, 80 times point, uh, what was it? 330? Three, three so 80 times point 30 is 24, and 80 times point 0.7 is uh, 56. So both are greater than um, 10. So the sample is large enough. All right. So the conditions for inference are satisfied. So we can proceed with a normal model to perform a Z test using a mean of 0 0.30. Okay, so that's that's our null hypothesis. 0 0.30. And our standard deviation is going to be the square root of 0 0.3 times 0 0.7 divided by 80. Okay, and that is 0 0.0, um, let's see, 512. Okay, that's a standard deviation. So that means that this would be about 0.35 right there. Okay, so mu is 0 0.30 and sigma is 0 0.0512. Alright, so our number of successes, if you recall, was 27 out of 80, and so our p hat is 0 0.33375. And if you look, that looks like it's a right about there. P hat equals 0 0.3375. So already you can kind of tell that that's quite a bit of area. So we're not really surprised given the model. Looks like it's reasonably con consistent with the model. But let's calculate the, the equivalent uh, z value. Okay, just to confirm. So the observed value was our sample statistic 3375 minus the hypothesized value. So again, the hypothesized value is 0.3. We see it right here, 0.3. So that's 0.3 or 3.0. Divided by the standard deviation of the model. So that's 0 0.0512. Okay, and that Z value comes out to be 0 0.73. 
So, it's less than one standard deviation away from the mean. So it looks like we're not very surprised. Let's just find out. So we would say the p-value is the probability of getting a sample statistic greater than 3, 3.75. So when we convert that to a z-value, that's the probability that z is greater than 0 0.73. So we put in a normal CDF in the calculator, and that's 0.73 out to infinity, right? Here, from this value out to infinity, because it goes forever. So we're going to approximate infinity this way, okay? And what we're going to get is um, 0 0.232, or 23.2%. Okay, so those are the computations. So if we want to interpret the p-value, we could say something like um, if the null hypothesis is true, so that means that his dowsing success rate is the same as the standard method, um, there is more than, well, there is, let me, let me, I don't want to say more than, there is a 23.2% chance of getting a sample success of 33.75%. Okay. Um, due to natural sampling variability. Okay, so in other words, we're not surprised. If the null hypothesis is true, then the model is true. And given that we did our sampling stuff correctly, then we'd expect to get this value 23% uh, of the time. So that's just not uh, rare. That's not enough. That's not enough of a surprise. It's small. It's not 100%, but it's small. So we would say um, the p-value is small. I think the, the um, book said something about 5%. So certainly 23.2% is less than 5%. So if we are using 5% as criteria, the p-value is small. So um, we fail to reject the null hypotheses that, and right here, all you need to go, do is go up here to your hypotheses and say the percentage of successful wells drilled by the dowser is 30%. Okay, so we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the percentage of successful wells drilled by the dowser
is 30%. Okay, there is um, no evidence that the dowsers method is better than the standard method. Okay, so I know that's a lot of writing. Uh, hopefully you can write better than me. Maybe you can uh, be more concise, especially if you practice this. But the last sentence is probably the most interesting because uh, I'm adding um, some content and it also helps sort of understand um, that, you know, we, we just can't rule out variability due to uh, sampling. We can't rule that out as the cause for this difference. And that's what we're trying to do with the hypothesis test. So anyway, there you go. Um, good luck.